back and I've just joined the um, cavity part of the wing and uh, went a lot nicer than the um, core that we did earlier. Um, and as I said, you know, I purposely, I'm purposely not going to try and wipe this, the CA off this edge. Um, I'm going to let that glue hard and then perhaps take it off with a razor blade or, or sand it off. Um, as tempting as it seems, I'm going to leave it. The uh, biggest problem I've found is if the CEA spreads too much onto your ABS and it, in a sense it sort of strengthens up the, the, the ABS in that, in, that, in that part. So when you're sanding, yeah, you end up sanding, you end up removing the softer ABS um, and the harder CA coated ABS gets left. So you you got to be very, very careful. Um, and that's the main reason why I like to try when I'm welding and stuff and joining stuff, I try and wherever possible use the same material. Um, at least that way when you're sanding, the hardnesses of the different materials are the same. So you, when you're sanding, you can sand them both easily, the, the same amount. You just got to be careful with that. So I'm going to try this new method. <laughs> um, so normally I'd actually get a little straight edge and then try and scrape that off, but I'm actually just going to leave that. Um, and there's the prep on the back. Um, hopefully you can see that. Not much, too, not too much glue poking out. So we pop back to here. This is the one we did from a second ago, and that's um, that's strong enough now for us to um, weld up. Like on this one, you can see I've actually got quite a, quite a gap, decent gap. <laughs> it's not ideal, but the surface is nice and smooth. So again, it's it's a core. The surface is nice and smooth across that plane. So all I might do is. Um, after I've done the first coat of um, acetone on it, have a look at it and then make a decision on whether I want to try and fill that or not. Um, worst case scenario is I'll just let some, I'll just get some thin CA and just let, let it gently wick into that gap to fill that gap a little bit. But we'll see, we'll see how it looks um, once we've done some acetone. So and I'll still need to fill these these areas anyway. So let's get some welding doing. So I've got the, uh, the pen ready, I'll switch it on. So it only take a few seconds to um, heat up. Another example I was, I was telling you about is when you when you join the pieces, you need to just decide on what are the critical parts, what are the important parts for you. And, and on, on the mold, it's obviously the surface and these points here um, matching up as, as good as, as as well as they can. Um, and as you can see here. Um, it really doesn't line up at all on that edge there. Uh, this edge ain't too bad. That looks quite good actually. Um, so don't get all tied up on an edge. This this line here is the important line, and this line here is an important line. A little bit more difficult on this part of the mold because um, you got less um, sort of datums to 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 reference against. On this bit, you got quite a few bits to reference again. You know, you got quite a few things that you need to key together, um, and you'd be amazed just by eyeballing it um, how well these pins um, locate. Um, you know, you'd think you'd, you'd get you'd get them out a bit, but um, so far, touch wood, um, I haven't had any problems with the the the, the the location of those pins, considering that 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 half is independent of that half and at, at the start and you're joining it by eye and feel and touch. So yeah, so um, okay, I'll let that one go off nice and hard. I might wait to get a little bit rubbery and then see if I can carefully remove it so I don't have to um, sand it. Like I say, I'm always trying new things. Sometimes trying too many new things at the same time, which is a problem. Right, so, we are good to go. Let's get some filament coming through. So the heat swell, it's all, it's empty the, uh, let's speed it up a bit. There we go. There she is. All right. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just spot well. Um, actually I can walk this whole scene first. Right here. Yeah, I like to like come off the um, 
the feed at the end and just hold it with the heat so you get a nice, well, you can see that, I'll zoom on it. So you get a nice, um, some nice penetration at the end, so it's still hot. Um, okay, let it melt before you start, get going, and then add the, add the fluid. If you do it from this angle, then the, the trick is don't let the um, sort of molten pool of plastic get ahead of the, um, the nozzle. And you know, it normally works out great for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's cracked all the way up. And then for this bit here, what I normally do is I'll just I'll, I'll sort of back step weld it or bounce weld it. Um, there's no other reason that that seems to be the right way to do it rather than add too much heat and distortion in, in any one place. So I normally do it in about one inch um, spaces. Let's see in that end of it. down quite hard as well I found. Um, you almost push the plastic um, through. Okay, and we'll do a bit here and then a bit there and then just do the in-between bits. So do about an inch over here. So, so as tempting as it is to carry on, um, I don't. Um, no, I'll do this. Actually, I need to do a little bit. I'll do another bit here. Actually, didn't get very much um, material in there, so I'll just do that little bit there, and then I'll probably come back and join join the the islands up, as it were. Look to do some um, sort of more sculptural bits um, with the plastic, and you actually have the the welds and showing a different colour on that. It could be pretty pretty neat. Uh, something in the uh, something for the future. So when you start, you obviously get the plastic to melt before you start adding filament, and then once it's melted nicely, then we're good to go. So, let's see, we're on that free, let's see if you guys can see.
really need to read the instructions for this camera. Okay, so hopefully. So hopefully you can see see the world in there. Yeah. And all we need to do now is just uh, just dress it so we don't get no wobbles. Again, the, for the sides we can just um, get our file. Then really quick one two one now. again. The weld sat down a bit which ain't a problem um, as long as it's not proud. Um, it's perfect. Okay so that is good for the next phase. Some CA has come through there but I'll try and get off in a sec. Okay so look at the other one now. So, this one too fast. 